it's the end of the fourth day I believe maybe fifth but I think fourth so again there's the first log the second log and then here's the third log I did this one today the majority of it did a couple slabs the other day you can see how big that monster is those are four feet at that flared out part and 36 at the other end and then I did uh, so that was this one right here right there and then I just did that one so that one's stacked up real nicely sliced her up the next thing I want to do uh, I think that's probably the last slab I'll take off that one I might do another one I know some people are looking at that and they go why wouldn't you I'm just getting so much wood and everything I cuts one more thing I have to pick up but that's still 20 some inches wide of uh, the wood there excluding the bark and then it's 36 at the other end so obviously it was some sort of metal in the wood and I gambled um, this one had nothing no metal in it um, so you can see all the black stains and there were the black stains on the stump and they were really dark on the stump so I gambled that the wood was I mean that the metal was somewhere in here and I think I'm right I think that these two those are the two big dots on the stump but then there was this one and you can see it's kind of grayish there darker here lighter here so I think there is a piece of metal either there or inside the slab I just cut and then there may be something else up here um, who knows hitting the metal really does suck on a chainsaw mill so that's something I don't want to do um, I did it on the walnut just because I thought it was worth it the wood to have to um, you know work on the chain like that but I really don't like the idea of doing it again um, it will happen on occasion but this is asking for it so I think I'm gonna I might lay off of this piece here or I may cut it off up here and mill a couple pieces out of that or I could set it to cut really deep and just cut all that which I think I, if I cut like a three or four inch piece I'd probably just have all that metal if there's any in there inside that board and that would be okay um, so the last thing for me to do outside of the daunting task of moving these slabs out of here and that's going to be the hardest part of all this is milling up these last two logs and they are slightly smaller diameter well, one is a crotch so I'm going to be milling that in its widest dimension which is about 50-ish inches at the part where the, you know up at the top of the crotch and then the log that I'm aiming at right here that one is probably 30 32 inches in diameter but again it's kind of oval shaped so it might be a little wider in its widest dimension and they are all really tangled up in all this junk up here let's have a look so that is an old stump from a tree that fell down so that is where it was cut but it was another oak tree that fell down once upon a time um, so this one I've got this piece jammed under here and then it's up against this that stack is right there so you know I need a good almost two feet for the power head on one end and then on this log I'm gonna have the bars probably gonna be sticking out three feet so I need a lot of clearance and I don't really want to get my saw down into this but I may end up cutting some of this off might have to move these slabs further down or over that would probably be good just move them over and then flip this log one time so it would be here and then a little bit of extra clearance on that I'd be good this one if I do what I'm thinking I'm just gonna flip that one one time and then I'll mill in this direction Let me stand up on some junk but the problem is once I flip it I think all this junk's gonna be in the way so I'm gonna have to cut some of this stuff up and throw it further over here but I think if I do that I'll be milling downhill which will be a little easier and then I'll have all the oak slabs I'll ever need so eventually I'm gonna have to calm down later I mean earlier today I went and looked at um, let's see if I'm in yeah that's dirty me um, earlier today I went and looked at some more logs I put an ad um, on uh, Craigslist looking for some logs and stuff and uh, um, I had a couple people respond so earlier today I went and looked at some uh, huge white oak I say huge it's about 
32, 34 inches, three feet maybe. I think it might be three feet. The guy told me it was four, but I think it's you know more like 36 inches. And uh, I want that because I want to cut some nice wide white pine boards to make some Windsor chair seats. Uh, then he also had a sycamore, two sycamore trees, and it was a tree, it was like a double tree, so it came out of the stump, which is about five or six feet in diameter, and then it splits off into two trees that are probably, one's about three feet and one's about two feet, so pretty big. And then he had a sycamore kind of like butt log, like the one with the dark staining in it, that's about six feet long, but it was a, it's a crotch tree that came out of the ground and split into three uh, main trunks, so it's cut to just like this type of thing, about six feet long, branch has already been cut off of it, so I'm gonna go slab that on the spot. That'll probably take maybe an hour if I don't, you know, run into some metal, which I very well could. It was cut right off the, uh, out of the yard. Hope I don't, but it's probably about four or five good slabs in that piece. I don't want any, any of the sap wood or if it's even sap-ish type wood in a sycamore, I'm not familiar with the wood that much other than a few boards that I've had. But the wood has a lot of cool color in it that's not normal to sycamore. Normally, at least the sycamore I've dealt with, is very kind of uh, light colored, pretty even, and then it has a very, very tiny pattern that's similar to what quarter sawn white oak looks like. It's like a snakeskin or something weird. It's kind of a, it's a neat little pattern that's in sycamore, but it's really small. It's not big like white oak can be. Um, but this one is very colored, very brown, so. I'll stop talking about that. If I do it, I'll film that, and then I'll show that in some video in the future. But I think that's it. It's going to take a long time. So for those of you who watch my other channel where I'm fixing up that house, and you fuss at me for why in the world are you taking so long, this is the type of stuff that I'm doing. I'm just doing this. I also work on that house. I'm also working on a set of tables. I mean, a table and a set of benches. Um, I've got family-related stuff to do and other business things. I'm kind of all doing that at the same time. So um, after I mill up all these logs and uh, get this house that I'm working on now, I've got to kind of pare down some things and I think start being a little more uh, picky about what projects I take on, um, which I'm kind of happy about that because I think what that's going to mean for me is I'm going to focus on one house at a time and I really want to just start buying and selling stuff and not do full renovations, just kind of try to just do a deal more than... A huge renovation and then um, focus on the YouTube channel doing projects uh, you know with wood like this the Windsor chair I told you about really woodworking type projects more interesting projects and uh, do the videos more like how to's um, real detailed I'm not sure exactly not just some flashy video with music set to it you know I really want to kind of get back to the thing that I originally wanted to do which is um, teaching people how to do different things uh, or sometimes there'll be projects I'll be doing for the first time but I know all the techniques even if it's like doing something else uh, what I'm saying is if you know how to make dove uh, cut dovetails you know how to cut dovetails it doesn't matter whether it's uh, one project or another um, so it'll be exciting for me to do take on some different projects I haven't taken on but then also share what I know with the viewers of my videos so I think that's about it Thank you for watching, and I'll see you. No, uh, I'll see you eventually. Bye.